David Roberts, the CEO of Vero Mobility, which actually came public via SPAC in 2018, but it's up about 50% since then and is up over both the past 12 months and the past 24. Vero's technology powers transportation, like uh, technologies like red light cameras, automated speed enforcement, toll payments in rental cars, and digitized parking. Last earnings report, revenue was up 22%. Roberts brought the company public and actually grew up with a dad who ran a business. His dad had a big influence on him as a leader, and when his dad was diagnosed with cancer when David was 23, it reshaped his outlook. As my dad got sick, that was like an immediate like control-alt-delete moment that I call, which is like, hey, we're going to redo this relationship. And so what I would say is over the course of the last, oh, even 24 months of his life, you know, I was with, you know, after, certainly after I graduated college, I was with him. Uh, I was learning from him as much as I could. Uh, and then as he got sicker and sicker, obviously, I was just present for him. So what I would say is the ending of that story was a really great relationship. And, and I think what it did for me is, one, I think it, uh, as I have, as I mentioned, I have four kids. I have two boys and two girls. It sort of gives me a much brighter line of, hey, I need to be connected to these kids much earlier. I'm not just sending them off on their way. I want to give them room to grow, but having a tighter connection. All right, right now on the business side, Roberts is focused on paying down Vera's debt and growing its influence in technologies connected to traffic and safety. Both are top of mind with people traveling more and governments needing revenue. We today do tolling and violation processing, but in the future, you could really see us looking at things like vehicle payments or how car makes a payment or telematics and how do you manage these assets and where are they and how do we increase driver safety? These are all areas that are uh, potential interest for us over the next what, uh, 12 to 18 months. Um, and then if you look at on the urban mobility side, there's so many new things coming with a, with a world of environmental awareness, things like congestion pricing, um, the increased attention to things like distracted driving. Those are big problems that we feel like we're really well suited to help drive uh, solutions for. Uh, and we're excited at the challenge to do so. He said travel just remains extraordinarily strong, including business travel, which is interesting because a year ago, people were still saying a big portion of that wouldn't come back. Vera's numbers on rental car tolls suggest otherwise two plus billion dollar market cap there. Four kids. Can you believe it, Kelly? I, two boys, two girls. <laughs> no, that's like, no, I mean, the fact that he is, the numbers that they've put up is incredible. They're literally a toll collector, which, you know, you always joke that you want to be. Um, yeah, it, it just, it, it's impressive given some of the headwinds we're facing. Are there main clients, government, governments, municipalities, toll authorities, as opposed to consumer, I know, yes. yeah, consumer connection here? Absolutely. Mainly those, but also universities, like if they've got a parking garage, mm. for example, want to do parking enforcement. But yeah, local governments, up to state governments, dealing with those highway areas where there's construction going on and they've got the camera on you to snap the picture of your license plate if you're not doing the right thing, right. all that. Right. Yeah, right. Good economic indicator as yeah. well, like you said about the rental car piece of it. John, right. thanks. John, thank you.